So I just want to show you how in Expression you can change a 3D template to um, update its logos on the fly uh, relatively quickly. So I made this sports template which just basically has you know a stadium graphic with a, a camera move animation and it just kind of comes and ends to reveal the logos of the home and away teams. And I've done that for um, NFL and for, for the NHL teams. Um, so what I've done was I actually have two hidden text objects in here. You can see home and away. And a little bit of scripting in here that actually says whatever, whatever the, these text objects say, look for that TGA in a certain folder. So you have the images NFL folder and then in this template we have the images uh, H, uh, NHL folder. Uh, so what happens when we go into the sequencer, sequencer now in Ross Expression, we have the home and away tabs here at the bottom under the template data tab. And if I were to change these home and away fields to something that actually exists in the actual folder, so for instance for the NFL I will go into the NFL folder of the images and let's just change this guy to say Vikings for instance. So I'll put the home to say Vikings and you see already it updated here in the preview window. It now has the Vikings image in that 3D template. And I'll just go back in there and pick another team like uh, Giants. So I'll just copy Giants and I'll put Giants into the away field. And you see that that updates. And now we can just execute this graphic. Let's do that again here. So I'll execute that graphic again. And we have that team. Now I can duplicate this template in the sequencer, change the teams. Let's say the Buccaneers. The visitors and the cowboys. Another home. You can see that the uh, textures are changing on the fly. We'll execute this guy on air again. Cool. Let's do the NHL teams now. Let's go in here. This time I'll go into the NHL folder and I'll go, um, let's say Montreal. That's my team. So that's what we're going to use. Montreal actually is not in here. Oh, there it is. So M O N. Paste that. There's the Canadians against who else other than Toronto. And let's put Toronto in the visitor. That changes. We'll clear the frame buffer. Execute that. And you have a really cool sports 3D template and expression that is completely uh, updatable and dynamic. You can change things on the fly. You can even add, you can see, you can hear that I added the uh, audio as well. So I just put up a bunch of audio tracks in there. Real cool. So if I go back into the layout, if I go into the scene director, you can see how I just added a bunch of audio tracks in there. Just some swishes and, and music files that I have uh, in a database folder there. So that's it. That's how you do a sports 3D template uh, with changing logos on the fly. So it kind of saves a lot of time without having to re-render uh, a lot of logos and stuff like that. Uh, and it's much lighter. You know, one, two templates can do the entire league or different leagues or different sports. All done through expression. Thanks a lot.